Hey hello, yes, it's this. It's your girl Levaya back with another video. Thank you for tuning back in again today. And if you're new here, hey girl, you're most welcome to the family. It's time for me to wash my hair after eight weeks. And in today's video, I'm going to be washing my hair using Aunt Jackie's clarifying shampoo. So if you want to see how it goes and to know my thoughts about this shampoo, then stay tuned. So now without any further ado, let's dive right into this video. I start off with saturating my hair with water because it takes a while until my hair is fully soaked and drenched with water. So this is the star of today's show, the Anjaki's Power Wash. The consistency of the shampoo is quite thick. And I start off with shampooing my scalp as always, that's the usual step. That is what I always do when washing my hair. I start off with washing my scalp. Whilst washing my hair. I pull the twist down to avoid my roots from tangling up as I'm scrubbing my scalp because if I was just to scrub it like that my roots would tangle up my hair tangles up easily even in twists if I'm rough with the roots so that is why I need to be careful and that is why I need to use this method to prevent my roots from tangling so I would repeat that same steps on all sections of my head and once I'm ready, I rinse it out. After shampooing my scalp twice, I move on to the length of my hair. I apply the shampoo directly onto my hair and I work it in. As you can see, I'm squeezing the hair and I'm pulling it. And since my hair is already detangled, I'm not trying to make it tangle up. So I'm very careful when doing this. And as you can see, for the first rinse, there isn't really much lather because my hair is dirty. So after shampooing for the first time, I rinse it out. Then I shampoo my hair for the second time and as you can see there is more lather this time around because now my hair is getting clean and I actually like the way the shampoo felt in my hair even though it's a clarifying shampoo it didn't feel stripping at all it felt somewhat moisturizing and even after rinsing it out of my hair my hair didn't feel dry it felt very clean but not dry After washing my hair twice, I apply deep conditioner to the section. The deep conditioner I use is also from Anjaki's. It's the soft and sassy conditioner from Anjaki's from the kids line. And I actually really like the way it makes my hair feel as well. I repeat the same steps throughout my hair, applying the first applying the first layer of shampoo onto my hair, working it in my hair.
once I've rinsed it out the first time, I shampooed it again. And look at how it's lathering up. And I could even glide my fingers through with the shampoo in my hair. So, so far I really like the shampoo. I really enjoyed using it and I liked the way it felt in my hair. I'm definitely going to be keeping this shampoo. That was the first time I used the shampoo and I've actually used it again since then and my opinion hasn't changed. I still like the shampoo. There I apply a generous amount of deep conditioner onto my hair and I work it in and once I'm done working it in I twist my hair back up. It took me about 40 minutes to wash my hair. So I'm all done and like I said, I really, really like the shampoo. I would definitely be using it again. It's going to be part of my staple products. Yes, I would recommend it. So if you're looking for a clarifying shampoo, you could definitely try out this shampoo. So guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it and if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already. And also to turn on the notification bell so that you are notified when my next video comes up. I love you guys so, 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 so much. See you again in my next video. Stay blessed, stay healthy, and stay safe. It is your girl, Obaya, A, A, Obaya, A, A. Bye-bye.